In the previous video, we looked at how to create and edit small multiple charts in order to visually compare series across different slices of our data. Small multiples can be further customised to give us a rich view of the data. Firstly, the chart type can be changed using the option in the task pane. I can change this chart from the default column to a line, or to any other style that I choose. Currently, this chart is plotting sales for all geographies. To add another series on our chart, go into the Geography dimension and select as many members as desired. The chart is now updated, showing a column for each country. By right-clicking on a series, I can edit its colour and other styles. I can also add a legend to easily distinguish between the series. Right-click and under the Legend menu, select the desired position. Making a selection in the legend highlights the series, making it brighter, which may be useful when series overlap. If I am plotting two different measures on my chart, it may make sense that they are plotted on a different scale. To do this, right-click on the series and move it to a second axis. We can now see that it is much easier to read the values for the profit margin. The series chart type can also be controlled through this right-click option. Colour coding can be applied to data points in order to highlight differences. Drag the hierarchy to plot, usually measures, to the values box and select the measure to be plotted. Now select a measure to colour the bars by. The colours used for charting can be changed by using this button. I will set the colours by this predefined scheme. Now the small multiple has updated. The height of the bars show the sales amount value, but the colours indicate the discount amount, where blue is a low value and red is high. We can also set up small multiples so that users are able to zoom in to areas of interest. To do this, go into the Charts Properties. Under the Animation tab, set a zoom mode. We'll first set a slider. This adds a control to the bottom of the chart, which, when we adjust, zooms into members on the x-axis. If I drill into a member and then adjust the slider, we can see all three charts move in sync. This is helpful in allowing us to see a closer view of categories of interest. If I go back into the chart properties and turn on zoom on charts, I can now also select the area to zoom in on directly on the chart. I could alternatively select a mini chart as the zoom control. This displays a smaller version of the chart from which I can make a selection to zoom in on. We can see how values change across a dimension by adding it to the Animate Charts By section of the task pane. So if I add a date hierarchy to this small multiple chart, and then select the time period I want to view across, I get a play control at the bottom of the charts. When I click play, the chart animates showing how the values are changing across time. I can create a small multiple so that selecting a series or category changes selections in my reports. To do this, we need to go into the Charts Properties. Under the Interaction tab, I can define which of the Charts components should be outputted when it is interacted with, and where the outputs will be placed. We can now see that when I select this column, the members from the categories, columns and rows are placed into the cells I defined. I can now set up the members in the grid, so that they are determined by these output cells. So, when I make a selection on the chart, I can see the grid updates, displaying a breakdown of the data for the chosen members.